Hi Pisces! Your weekly day by day. Tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning on Monday the 4th of November. So, Monday. With the devil. Tricky energy, eh? Some lies, manipulations. It could be some addictions, okay? Um, let me pair it. Dependency, you know? With magician. This is just a persuasion, okay? Being capable to persuade people to follow your idea, to follow your deeds, to follow you, okay? This is energy of politician, okay? Perfect politician, perfect manager, perfect director, perfect, you know, I don't know, decision maker. When you need to have people around you, to galvanize them, to bring them around your idea, around that what you do, around your name, okay? You've got this energy. You're guiding people, pushing them, pulling them, putting them in the place where you want them to be. You see what I'm saying? Controlling the situation completely, completely. You are capable to control the situation completely. It's all in your hands. You've got your wordings, you've got your mind, you've got your speech, you've got your idea, you've got your confidence. People will follow you. Just blindly people are following you. You have exceptional abilities today for persuasion, to persuade people to follow you, to follow your path, your ideas. Very talkative, very smart with your wordings. Might be cunning as well. Might be seen as a cunning without any intention actually to be. Okay, could also mean something like that. Perhaps devil's energy is out there. Now, whatever idea that you have might be seen. Like you've got agenda maybe. You were not telling the truth. If you see what I'm saying, maybe that you are just seeing as... You know, such a person, um, cunning, self-absorbed, egocentrical, narcissistic, okay? Maybe you're just seen like that without any intention to show yourself as such. But with intention or without, but situation is not truthful, not completely. It's guided, it's adjusted, it's measured, appropriated or somehow worked out, okay? To look the way you want it to look or it's just a that people are seeing you as they want to see you. Doesn't matter what you do. You see what I'm saying? Now, from outside towards you or you towards your surrounding, but something is disconnected here. Lots of misunderstandings intentionally, with intention to persuade people to do so and so, or simply misunderstanding. People see you different. People don't see your real intention. People see that what they want to see. But this is a bit tricky Monday, Pisces, for you. Not Tuesday. With Three of Pentacles. Look, Three of Pentacles, it's practical energy, doing something practically, something exciting, like your hobby, like, I don't know, some um, fixing something around your house and you like it, mostly decorative stuff. You are busy, like painting, like you want to change some carpets, you're gonna um, sew some, you are sewing some curtains or so, being busy with something which you are enjoying, okay, that's why we talk about your hobby. Maybe some new group of people you are meeting now, people are admiring you for your qualities, for your knowledge, um, people are affiliating themselves with you for that what you do, for that what you know, for that what you have started, okay, you were perhaps showing yourself out there with something admirable, you do some job, you show some skills, and people are admiring you and connect to you through that job, skill, or so. Three of Pentacles, it's a practical thing, something which you do and it's visible, and people are admiring it. They are affiliating themselves with you because of that. So might be that as well. Beginning of some new business, yeah. Okay, <laughs> doubling itself here, beginning some new business, beginning some new career, um, beginning to earn money in a different way, but this is all exciting. 
you really love that what you do on this day, this very beginning is important because promises big success. It can grow, it can develop. You can make a big deal out of it. It can stay your hobby, okay? You can just enjoy doing it part-time, having fun with your friends and so and so because it is fun and enjoyable, practical thing, using your hands, using your brain or whatever and enjoying the little things, doing it here and there with your friends. But could be something which you can okay develop further you can develop it endlessly you can make a big corporation out of this you see what i'm saying it's not something which is limited with the time or any other way there's no limitation with this one can grow endlessly if you continue to put effort if you continue to do that what you do, you can make big success out of this. That's what is very interesting with this energy. Very small, very young, very beginning, nothing to show up for now. I mean, even if you do have something, it's very little, okay, very little money that you received, very little done. It's just a beginning, it's just a foundation, even maybe just a cornerstone of something. Important here is that joy which this give you and admiration which you get for that job, okay, for that what you do, for that what you have started here, what you are showing off with today, small, minimal, at the beginning, but it's important, it's admirable and it can grow endlessly. You can develop this as much as you like. So in that sense, very prosperous energy, but enjoyable. Joy with doing things with other people or by yourself. But it's enjoyable thing, yet very, very promising. Yeah, choose that. Four of Wands. Now, Four of Wands is home. You feeling at home, you feeling satisfied with that what you have achieved, that what you have established, that what you have established because Three of Pentacles established something, as I told you, very beginning for something which you really like. Maybe working something around your home could also talk about that, okay? So either that you have established that first plateau, first success now, and from here you can develop it further, but something is completed here. That first stage is done. Rest, relax, enjoy, be happy self, okay? Let people see what you've done. Let people admire your work. Let's have fun with people because you have completed something together. That's your four of wands. People are enjoying. People are celebrating. They have done something, okay? They've got something behind, something solid, something that can grow on. Or maybe, as I said, could be just, you know, working something around your house. But by today, perhaps you've done those things. You painted, perhaps there's something decorative, something small, and you can show it off. You can maybe uh, entertain people. You wanted to change some curtains. You wanted to paint. You wanted to redecorate something around your house just to place the furniture in a different way because people will come to your home and you want to show it off as a beautiful place so four of wands could be your beautiful home could be you feeling at home feeling good about yourself because you are doing something which you are enjoying could be just your feelings okay feeling good feeling at home you're doing something which makes you feel good maybe also something like that maybe celebration <laughs> let me bear it <laughs> yeah could still still Still, we can talk your home, enjoying your beautiful home. You redecorated, you made it beautiful, and there's people enjoying it with you. Could be just you, comfortable with yourself. This is your comfort, this is feeling good, feeling at home with that what you have, with that what you have started, with that what you began. Just a good feeling, pleasant feeling. You are at home, you feel good, you like that, makes you satisfied. Then further, we can talk with Empress, with Four of Wands, with the Three of Pentacles. We were talking, doors opening for you. I told you this can grow endlessly. If you just put an effort, it can grow endlessly. You can make big success out of it. You can make, make big corporation out of that. What you have started yesterday on Wednesday, Four of Wands opens the gate for it. Go for it. It's opened. You can make it. The Empress talks about a big future okay so we can talk this 
um, big future, big plans for your future. So we can see perhaps as something which is developing right now within you, okay, or around your home, your building, okay, your place of living, or it's your business, something you enjoy, whichever way you are enjoying this, makes you feel good, and, you ho and you've got big, huge, massive plans with this, this supposed to grow endlessly for another so many years, you see what I'm saying, to grow, to develop, to fulfill your life might indicate something long-term, long-term development from this point on, from this very small idea, very small thing, very practical thing which you do on this day, on Wednesday, you perhaps see the whole world, okay, build on it, okay, big development possible with just this little thing, but a beautiful, enjoyable day. Now, whatever that event is, okay, you are enjoying it. This is being at home. This is loving your place. This is loving that what you have done. This is enjoying yourself. So far, so good. You've got things. You've got your beautiful home. You've got your business. You've got your hobby. You've got people you were working with. You love it all. You are so comfortable with that what you have on this day. Just like that. So, as I said, whatever that event is, <laughs> whatever that's happening right now in your life, or whether business, or it's around your home, around your family, or, or it's just your personal feeling of comfort and satisfaction, but you were comfortable and satisfied here on Thursday. Very lovely, in fact. Pardon me, Wednesday. I'm talking Thursday, eh? No, it's Wednesday. So, yeah, that's your Wednesday. Now, Thursday. <laughs> with the Four of Pentacles. Look, Four of Pentacles is a stable energy. It says you've got something to hold on to. Okay, um, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, we were talking stability. Perhaps you will take a little bit of time before you continue. You've got some sort of success, something you achieved. Four of Pentacles is holding it, is having it, okay? You've done something, you achieved something. It's not much, it's very basic. It's the first big achievement, first, first achievement which you can point at. This is mine, I have achieved it. And you are holding on to it. Right now, at this point, perhaps it's very important to hold on to it, okay? Not to lose that what you have succeeded with, okay? We've got something, this amount of money, this success, okay? Let's not lose it. Let's solidify it, okay? Let's make it certain. Your knowledge, your success, your, your income, it's good enough for now. Very beginning, for this lovely beginning, this is good enough. Let's stay there, okay? Let's secure this, and from here, here, we will develop later some more. It usually takes a little bit of time. It's not keen to immediately go for. Not keen on movement, passive energy. You want to hold on to that. That success, that knowledge, that what you have, okay? If it's some income, you will stay with that income. With that what you have right now, you'll stay with that. To secure, to use to it, to become bored of it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then you will continue. Usually it takes its time. It's not keen to invest, to open arm and to do something with that. Not really keen on investment or movement of any kind. Four of Pentacles. Okay paired with the Nine of Swords. Look, this is nightmare. Maybe you have received some money uh, um, and it's just very little. Maybe you expected the more or you have realized that you're going to stay in this position for a while. Okay, maybe it's not that you wanted to you know, solidify yourself, to secure yourself. Maybe it just happened like that. Maybe out of source, out of circumstances, just happened like that unexpectedly. Or um, you couldn't foresee it like that, okay? You were so optimistic, you thought, oh, I'm going to continue now immediately, immediately I'm going to make a lot and so and so. You thought that you will be making much bigger step and a much faster, okay? And uh, um, this Four of Pentacles perhaps disappointed you because it says, stay there, okay? It's very basic, it's first success, and you will be staying with that first success, with that first thing for a while, okay? And that's what you really do not like. But look, with the Nine of Swords, it tells me that it's not up to you. Usually, your hands are tied, 
you can do nothing about it. That's why I'm, I'm thinking it's some other circumstances, some development of sort, which you can, couldn't foresee, okay, uh, uh, puts you in one place, okay. Um, for a while, perhaps, you will stay there with that income, which is small. Of course, you can develop later, but so far, you have to stay with this. And that's what you don't like. Perhaps you are seeing that you were obstructed in some way. Maybe somebody made a decision. Okay, hold on, Pisces. Stay there. Do that. Just a little bit of that. Don't invest further. Don't go, don't go for more. Don't do more. Okay? Just stay there for a while. Maybe somebody says like that, a decision maker said like that, and you had to obey, which um, you didn't like at all. Could also be that you are doubting now, you are beginning to doubt, because things are perhaps developing much slower than you expected, and uh, that you are actually doubting the whole process, the whole idea, the whole project or so, might be also doubts and fears, usually unfounded, okay, it's, it's just a slow process here, I'm kind of feeling that it comes from outer circumstances, unforeseen circumstances, and that's why you were very disappointed, uh, even fearful, oh, what did I get myself into, it will not grow, it will not develop, it. Oh, no. might be something like that here on Thursday. Friday with five of pentacles. No, you're not happy self. It's very little, okay? We were developing from three into four into five of pentacles, but five of pentacles does have these reaches, okay, out there, but kind of it's not accessible. You cannot reach, you cannot get, um, you are kind of away from, maybe um, the whole development actually started as a, something very suitable for you. Maybe people saw you a bit uh, cunning, a bit tricky and kind of uh, distanced themselves from you. You see what I'm saying? Could be that you were isolated here unexpectedly you couldn't even see but people are isolating you you wanted to be part of this group part of this business part of this development now suddenly you feel isolated maybe something like that with five of pentacles maybe some money extra money needed for investment and you don't have it right now could also be but five of pentacles is not happy lacking something definitely Oh, Queen of Wands. Look, <laughs> there is another thing with the Five of Pentacles, with the, which I didn't tell you, um, which is much more positive. Um, five of Pentacles talks about poverty, about the difficulties, about lack of whatever, lack of something you couldn't get. It was all down there for others. Money, achievement, success. Um, it was all for others. It kind of, you, you felt it's, you're never going to have it. It's not for you. You cannot reach, you cannot ac access it. Yeah, or so. Now, at this point, being that we have Queen of Wands and we do have some a very lovely development with your career, with your business, perhaps um, some development in your life, a definitely very positive, very promising development, perhaps on this day. That's what you feel. Now, finally, this riches, this money, this abundance will be accessible for you, will be available for you. You will be able to become rich. Queen of Wands is creative, fearless energy, completely different than this Thursday. You can now, you can make your future, bright future, rich future. You see what I'm saying? Abundant future. Queen of Wands can do it. That energy is excited. It's happy. I will do it. I will create it. Nothing can stand on my way. You see what I'm saying? Eccentric, brave, Beautiful. So I think there was a nothing lacking out there. It's just your acknowledgement that that what was lacking is not going to be lacking. And very soon you will reach for it. You will have it. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, I think it's in fact positive day this Friday. Thanks to this queen. Oh, queen. I love this queen. Such a creator. Can do anything, okay? Just because doesn't have fear. This energy is, you know, you know yourself when you don't have fear. You know you can and you're brave and whatever that's on your mind. Oh, you're going to go for it. That sort of feeling. <laughs> yeah, queen is lovely. Anyway, that's your Friday. No, Saturday. Oh yes, Nine of Cups, your wish card, make a wish. 
yeah, you will have that what you wanted, that what you saw possible here on Tuesday, that development, that huge, massive development possible, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, perhaps even from Monday. Yeah, you can have it. There is your wish card. There is emotional fulfillment. There is having things, okay? It's, it's all about material life, about you being satisfied with that which you have, with the way you were being satisfied about that which you did have on Wednesday, but a bit more selfish. <laughs> Nine of Cups is happy, satisfied with themselves, with that which you have, what you bought, what you ate, what you achieved. You see what I'm saying? It's you um, out here. Very happy with yourself. Wish fulfilled. Paid with Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's truth. That is the truth. You will have your wish fulfilled. That's your Saturday. You will detach yourself. I think it's just extension. Friday, Saturday. Just extension. This Ace of Ace of Swords always cuts away. Detaches you from something which you did have in your life. So now, if you were lacking money... Till now, you can detach yourself from there. You are detaching yourself. Just that what I told you on Friday. You are detaching yourself from that poor state of being. Whether you used to feel poor because you didn't have enough money, um, your salary was very low, your business wasn't doing well, or your health wasn't really good or something. Whatever that made you feel poor. You can detach yourself from that situation. Okay, you are building something else. You just wished for, okay, this is absolute, this is emotional fulfillment, this is your wish come true and it's coming true, okay, this is truth, <laughs> Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, that's it, but as I said, detaches you, always Ace of Swords detaches you, just matches whatever that I told you on Friday, detaches you from this poor state of being and you are going to be happy, <laughs> nice, be happy. Be happy here on Saturday, Pisces. Now Sunday. With the Three of Swords. Oh, what this one is. Okay, Three of Swords out there. You or somebody else. But there's something disappointing. Some, some mean words. <laughs> something offensive. Okay. I've got the world. Um, okay, we do have it. With the world, I did have for Aquarius, I did have exactly the same combination here on Friday. Anyway, if you do have a little bit of Aquarius in your chart, in your in your chart, just check that the, check that reading because exact combination was on Friday for Aquarius. All right, and these two are coming. I'm gonna just leave them here aside. Four of Wands, nine of Wands. Um, this is completion successful completion. It's also some sort of time passage. It's timing. This is also Saturnian. It's all about time. And perhaps you have expected that something will come sooner. This completion, this perfect completion, you expected it's going to be sooner. But now on Sunday, you will know it's not going to happen soon. It's not going to happen as you thought that it's going to happen. If you thought it's going to happen on Monday, it's not. There is delay. And this disappointment, Three of Swords, doesn't bring huge, massive disappointment. It's just a delay, okay, which oh, annoys you. You will be annoyed because you have to continue, you have to do something, okay? Nine of Wands says it's not done yet. You have to do it. Nine of Wands is here, Four of Wands as well, okay? You have to perfect it or perhaps you have to redo. You have to redo something. Something which was, which you thought it's done. This, this very beginning, this is beginning stage which you thought it's done. Maybe you have to redo it in order to make things bigger, more successful, more lucrative, um, more abundant. You see what I'm saying? You have to redo it. And you are not happy. Of course you are not happy. Disappointment is there on Sunday because you will have to still do something. Not much, okay? Nine of Wands is saying it's not much. It's tying up loose ends. Slight, uh, I don't know, slightly, slight difference. Something to redo, to, to perfect it. To, I don't know, to make it better. Okay, to make it better. Um, and you will be doing it perhaps from tomorrow, not happily, not readily, but you will have to, because this, uh, it's kind of, 
you know that false start yeah the whole idea stays and everything is perfect everything is fine everything will develop everything will is really prosperous you saw it truly but what has been done perhaps it's not good enough it's not sufficient enough for that big development which you do have on your mind and perhaps that start was not sufficient enough so it's kind of false start which you have to now redo or perfect and off to go from there but slight disappointment surely you're gonna have because of that because now you have to do something extra and you thought it's done and just now money will be on your account but it's not gonna be this week it's gonna be next week nothing much you're gonna slip it over you're gonna complete that what you've got to to complete it's not much anyway and off to go some improvements some corrections yeah you have to do Anyway, Pisces, I really hope that you're going to enjoy this week and I will speak to you again very soon. Till then, the best regards. Tara by M.